Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is the uh, Dia Vidit 2012 part 16. Uh, in the previous episode I, um, I punished a vampire, I killed a vampire, basically. And uh, in this episode we're going to have some more fun with caged enemies. Uh, here he is, uh, Vampire 1 is still locked up. And uh, well, we're going to have some fun with, with prisoners of war. This is, this is a dwarf, and since he's a dwarf he's one of your guys. And, yeah, he he just gets a, um, a sentence in jail, even though he's a vampire. And yeah, here 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 here, here you can see it. Even he's still 133 days left in prison. If he ever gets out and vampire attacks starting happening again, I'll kill him or I'll send him to that little shed. But uh, yeah, our guy Vampire One is now in prison. Um, okay, so so that's that. And uh, this episode we're going to have some more fun with taking care of the enemies and that's why I prepared this whole level now unfortunately I don't have much enemies to show this on yet I have found a few uh, caught a couple of Rhesus macaques and uh, these are kangaroos I think um, with no, with K I should be able to show that uh, yeah it's a kangaroo cage and there's a kangaroo doe in there it's a kangaroo girl I guess and a kangaroo buck is probably the male yeah um well, that's nice. Some kangaroos around. <laughs> I guess we're in Dwarf Australia. Um, but, uh, well, let's have some fun and take care of the, uh, these enemies. Oh, um, first of all, how I got them here, by the way. This is an animal stockpile. It's been a long time since I talked about stockpiles. This is an animal stockpile. And I also said it to not allow empty cages with you and Ye. Uh, with you and J even. <laughs> yeah, uh, to not allow those empty cages in animal traps, so only living creatures will be brought to this specific animal stockpile, uh, including goblins and, and stuff like that. And uh, any empty cages will be saved, like here near the surface or here. So that's a nice way to set that up. Um, so every enemy will be brought inside, and as you can see, every, as you can see even. This animal stockpile has only the empty cages and the animal traps, and yeah, there's well, tons of pages of this too, but <laughs> we can forget about that. Um, okay, so so that's everything set basically, <laughs> and uh, well, I did a whole lot of work off screen. Oh, and this level also was important to remember for this video. This is above the caves. Uh, I dug it out just above the caves, so. If something goes wrong, I can just uh, throw the enemies down the cave, and I even throw a little, throw a kitty down here to check out, uh, <laughs> to have a little cave explorer even, and uh, we'll have some fun down there. But yeah, not much happening here. But uh, well, we can throw in some more stuff, and um, now we're we're going to take care of the enemies, and uh, yeah, we're doing this because. Normally, if you don't do this, you get uh, really, really big stockpiles of animals. Especially when you're dealing with goblins. If you have a, a whole goblin invasion and 20 of them are in cages and another cage, in, another invasion comes by. Yeah, your cages will become full <laughs> and uh, you need to empty them sometimes. So, because, uh, to do that, I'll teach you some tricks. And, uh, well, I don't have any goblins at the moment, unfortunately. But I'll, I'll treat these as if these were goblins, these, uh, these Rhesus macaques. And um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to disarm them. Now, a Rhesus macaque doesn't have any weapons or armor on him, but the goblin does. And yeah, we want to strip those goblins naked because we, we can also use those weapons and uh, that armor. can even remelt it if it doesn't even fit. So let's first show you the how to disarm enemies and well it used to be very hard and there's one way now which is kind of set and uh, easy enough when you think about it so let me show you that and that's with the mass dumping um, oh yeah uh, with dumping you need an, a garbage zone garbage zone is my made here garbage dump zone so let's start dumping uh, just dbd standard command D B D to dump a whole load of items well I'm going to dump this whole room or uh, all the bottom part of it off the, the kangaroo here doesn't have any weapons I think so I'll dump the bottom part of this room now what I'll do is I'll go take a look at every single cage and remove the dump order from the cage 
like this. Uh, looking at it with K, then moving towards it, and then hey, you press D to remove the, D, the dump order, and the purple D here disappears. And what this does is, I just uh, dumped everything in the tiles. I dumped everything around here. And what I'm doing now is I'm undumping the cages. Everything in these tiles, except the cages, will be dumped. And that's how you disarm someone. Uh, if there were goblins here in here, everything they've got on, every piece of clothing, every w weapon, that y you will now have given that the order to all be dumped, and some dwarves will come and take them away to this closest garbage stockpile. Now, since these aren't goblins, I don't think think something will actually happen here. No. Um. No sign of any dwarves moving at all. Okay, so anyway, now you know how to disarm. So remember that DBD, uh, oh, wrong buttons, DBD, come on, keyboard, what's going on here? DBD, <laughs> yeah, then dump, then uh, remove the dump on the cages with the K and D. That's it. Um, okay, so. When uh, all the goblins are disarmed, and that will take a while, so give your dwarves really uh, it's, uh, enough time to work on that. Uh, and when you want to kill them, well, let's move on with that. Um, now, the easiest way I find, and <laughs> the most easiest way to fuck up as well, is just throw them off something. Throw them off the uh, a cave, throw them off a cliff, throw them off whatever. In a previous fortress I built like a whole tower which went all the way up to the ceiling level, all the way up. But uh, well, this time I'm not going to do that, it's a bitch to build as well. And this time I, I just build, I build a, a channel above a cave so I can throw things in. So let's do that. Um, and uh, well, let's handle these die guys as if they were goblins, so let's do that. Um, okay, first I created this room. Uh, and in this room, as you can see, there's a channel in the middle. It's just a simple room. I dug this out with D, and uh, in the middle, I check out a channel. So the floor will be removed, and uh, we can throw stuff in. Uh, when when I set that, uh, I al also set a pit pawn zone. Let me show you that. Um, I'll remove this one for now. And place a new one, so making a new zone again. And um, now I'm taking extra care, so uh, the zone will be a little bit bigger than the um, than the hole. Um, you can zone only the hole, but that will not work. Your dwarves need a tile to stand on, and your dwarves are smart enough to, t to tell from, oh, this tile is the whole tile here, we're supposed to throw things in. So, yeah, um, make sure the... The, the zone is big enough and, and this way the dwarves can stand on either side of the hole and throw things in so this should be fine okay and when it's done uh, make it a bit pawn instead of pen, uh, pen pasture for once they could, could also press P and change this to a pond and then dwarves would start, start, start filling it with water but uh, not what we want now we want a pit and they can throw animals in there okay um uh, that's also an interesting show. So I throw, throw that kitten down there earlier. That's well, a nice way to get rid of kittens and a nice way to get rid of other animals you don't want. And uh, well, let's do that. Um, there's so much things in my fortress, like all these chicks and puppies and kittens and stuffs. And I do have a lot of chicks, should probably turn that off. Uh, anyway, let's throw some kittens down there since two cats is more than enough, more usually. So, extra kittens we don't need, so let's uh, select some kittens from the list here, press enter, and they will be thrown in. Um, let's see, any more kittens we can find. Well, there, and there's probably more around. There's some actual cats here, with the, well, the slaughter, slaughter those even. This should be fine. Um, let's see that happen. That's, uh, that's also nice to see. Um, now... Um, a dwarf should come and uh, bring a kitten in there and throw it in the hole. And uh, let's see if a dwarf shows up. It uh, should be any second. It should be coming through here. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. 
She only actually has that order and yeah. Has to take the chicken. Take the uh, yeah, chicken. No, kitten. Even <gasps> kitten from somewhere and bring it all the way to here. And uh, oh, there they come! I was about to give up, and he is being followed by something. KV boars. God damn it! It's a pet as well. <sighs> KV boars, caviars are nasty. Tell me, they're at least they're all both male. Yeah, they're both male. Caviars, guinea pigs, whatever you want to call them, KVs. Uh, they breed like fuck, like like rabbits, and that's bad. Also, you already saw him throw in the. Uh, let's show, go down a couple of levels and uh, well there's a new cat skeleton here <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get one mid-flight um, there comes another one brought from upstairs and uh, he's getting ready to throw here down the hole and here comes the farmer uh, now it's in pause the game spaced and here he is it's a flying cat uh, not for long. <laughs> Let's see the landing here. Split. And that's it. I think there's probably me multiple cat corpses here. Yeah. Um, kitten and two cat corpses. So some kitten survived, I guess. <laughs> um, can you see that in the port? The cat. Uh, <laughs> this is a cat. Um, yeah, it takes the full force of the impact, losing the muscle. Yeah, this would happen if you fall a couple of levels. Oh, should mention this as well, I think. Um, uh, this fall is like, let's see how many levels it is. It starts here, then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 levels down. And about 9 levels down, more than 9 levels down, it's a bit pretty much guaranteed killed on everything. It's, uh, it's a miracle that this kitten survived and probably won't be surviving very much longer. But um, yeah, if you drop something from higher than uh, nine tiles, it's guaranteed dead, even a kitten. Uh, unless it's a bird which can fly or a dragon which can fly. But um, normal enemies uh, can't fly, so throw a goblin at least ten tiles in your safe. Throw it less than it and it might survive like this. But well, if it survives, it's in the caves. Well, there's something nasty in the caves will probably take care of them if you just wait long enough. So, yeah, throwing things in the cave, that's nice. Uh, but, yeah, be wary of those flying enemies. And, uh, drop them down levels. Levels, at least if you're smart. Um, let's see, I'm not, and I'm uh, just having some fun with that. Um, looks like I also caught something else. It's a rattlesnake cage. Okay. Um, well, lots of li wildlife. I should also show that. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, I'm almost done with the second path of traps around here. Extra cage traps, so uh, I'll, yeah, uh, capture more goblins when I get them and have more fun trading them down pits. Um, anyway, on with the show. Okay, so you've seen a kitten tr being thrown down there. That, that's the easy way. A kitten is just a kitten and won't give any problems. Now, if I use the same way to kill uh, to throw a goblin down here, I'd have a problem. Uh, since goblins will, well, if you try and take them out of the cage, they will try and attack the dwarf or take him out. Take him out. They'll try to escape even, and uh, you, you don't want that. So we're going to do something so they cannot escape. Oh, okay. And um, to do that, we're going to place the cage. Uh, we're going to, to, to move the goblin in its cage completely, or the rhesus macaque in this cage. Uh, this rhesus macaque is going to be my goblin uh, example or whatever. And um, so we got to make sure we first move the cage next to the hole, then we put them in the hole. That's important. So uh, with goblins, uh, one of the safest ways to do that is with per cage. And um, well, we can do that as well. Uh, we just should build the cage, and that's with the B men menu. Um, B somewhere at the bottom here. B J. B J um, makes a cage, and if you place it here somewhere next to the hole, it should be fine. Press Enter. Now there's a whole list of cages, but if I press X, I get a whole list of cages which have animals in them. And since these are close, the it's even at the top of the list. 
So um, well, let's try and kill these research macaques like this. Uh, let's place another cage to be sure, a little bit farther away, and do uh, put the other research macaque in there. Uh, now wait until they're placed. Um, uh, that should take a little while. Well, this at least is faster. Um, there comes the dwarf. He's taking the cage and installing it here. Okay, and now, uh, yeah, the, the symbol change, which is well, it's still a recess macaque, and it's now in a built cage instead of uh, um, just lying around in the stockpile cage. This one is stuck to the ground, it's, it's yeah, built here. Um, anyway, so that's done. Now we can throw in the recess macaque. Um, now, in case of goblins, though, it's still smarter to. Um, to do this specific. Uh, in case of goblins, you'd like to take a name at a look at this goblin. Well, this isn't a goblin, this is just a recent macaque, and these guys don't have names. But if it's a goblin, he'd have a name like Stosu something, um, and whatever. <laughs> There's tons of goblin names. The only one I can remember at the moment is Stosu for some reason. Um, anyway, normally you like go to the cage with K or uh, with T even if that doesn't work T on a cage press enter and then you know see there's a recent macaque in here and you can check his name if there was a goblin write down his name and then we're going to try, throw that name down the hole um, anyway uh, since there's a recent macaque it's fine now I'm going to go through the hole um, press cap w, uh, capital P to go through this list now in this list should be the Rhesus Macaque somewhere and uh, uh, you'll probably notice him by a little brown symbol on the side here like the kangaroos already have a brown symbol that means they're in a cage somewhere in an unbuilt cage and yeah the uh, Rhesus Macaque should have another symbol um, there's one ah, yeah uh, there was one and there is the other one okay well let's throw them in um, so yeah, it, again with goblins, check the name. Make sure the that uh, the goblin you've placed in the cage next to the next to the trench is actually the goblin you're throwing in. If you you're throwing in another goblin, things will go wrong and uh, a dwarf will come open and, and come like here into this room, open the wrong cage, releasing goblins and making lots of fun for your fortress. So. Okay, so I've said it enough times, I, I think, by now. So, we're going to throw in the Rhesus Macaques. Uh, here's the first Rhesus Macaques. And uh, the brown icon changed to a blue one. I think this is the pitting icon. Yeah, it is. Uh, this one will be pitted, pitted as well. And uh, let's have the dwarves do that. And, uh, well, there's a stray cat being missing for a week. <laughs> it's probably down here in the hole. Let's throw, throw it in there myself. Um, I think the game really does uh, yeah, have a difference with that, uh, or knows how to change that. And uh, it's already done, it goes fast, Dr. Dwarf did it and threw the monkey down. And monkey has landed here, or Reese's Macaque, with uh, yeah, lots of, lots of pain. <laughs> he's probably dead, if, and if he survives, well, the case will take care of him. Um, and there goes the other Reese's Macaque, can we catch him in air? Yeah, we can. Uh, let's see him land. Oh yes, yeah, actually still moving this one. This is uh, S31. He's in extreme pain. Well, he probably won't last for all that long. So, that's <laughs> nice for him. Anyway, also nice for me. I've taken care of the enemies. And, uh, well, the cages are done now. Um, there's no one in here at the moment. I can just remove the building. And uh, it'll go back to my empty cages up top. And... That's the safest way to get rid of goblins. Uh, da. Wait a minute. It's resuming now. Oh. Uh, don't know what I recorded and what I didn't record at the moment, but uh, an ambush has happened, so here, yeah. Oh, there's an actual goblin ambush. Well, looks like I'll have enough enemies in the future, or I'll have enough. Uh, 
prisoners in the future. And the goblins are stupid enough, they're all walking toward over these lines of cage traps. And uh, yeah, that's nine goblins for me by the looks of things. Um, Maybe I should also save my my dwarves and <laughs> not not have oh, let them not walk outside even. Um, yeah, and I set up the middle plate to do that, so let's do that. Um, P -D -P -P, I set a civilian alert, and if the civilian alerts, uh, no, not yet on this fortress. Um. Okay, I'm going to restrict uh, the civilians to the bureau, uh, bureau for now. Um, set this one as the civilian alert. Set them to these. Uh, they should be off, yes. And now the civilian should be go. Should only be there. Um, should only be in the ramparts. The military should be able to do whatever they can. Anyway, the door should at least not leave the uh, um, fortress like this and all well, goblins coming in oh these aren't goblins these are elves <laughs> oh stupid these are, these are actually elves oh fun times <laughs> so the elves did show actually show up we do actually have war with the elves in the well that's another elf car captured oh we're going to have so much fun with these elves and um, Let's let them, the idiots all walk into my traps. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> have uh, good traps on that side. And there's also shooting happening on the upstairs levels here. And uh, yeah, there's not much of the elf ambush left. Goes goddamn elves. And well, they'll learn. <laughs> um, yeah, try attacking me, elves. Come on. Come on. Top guy here is hurting pretty witch as well you heading towards another weapon trap and into a cage well <laughs> and the other one is probably fleeing by now don't see any ambush any uh, message across there as well uh, let's leave the, um, the game running for a while um, yeah a lot of forbidden messages because no one can get down here How's the water going down here? It's three sevens, three sevens, four sevens, three sevens. It should be at least five sevens before the kangaroos start drowning. But also, I've got lots of funnily happy elves to drown here later. Um, okay, let's just finish this for now. That was the plan anyway. Let's see if I, that fills up and hopefully it'll kill some. Uh, kangaroos and well, actually, in the meantime, I should make a real bureau. Or, you know what? The elven military is gone. We're going to remove the civilian alert. Uh, inactive is now the civilian alert, and ramparts should not be it anyway. Okay, now the door should be able to go outside again. Mm, well, when they uh, when they actually want to. Yeah, all the doors just were up here and it was pretty crowded and uh, well they should be able to get out and do everything they want now um and uh, we should have enough more enough elves to play around for later or next video um okay and yeah the idea was to pause the video until this happened to although don't know what and what i did and what i didn't record um Anyway, yeah, still here. Okay, pausing game, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, the water is now around sixes and sevens here, but I don't think the kangaroos are dying. Um, can't see anything here, and doesn't even seem to have trouble breathing or something, even though it's in six sevens of water. So I'm guessing animals, uh, yeah, all animals are. Uh, can breathe in water for some reason. Uh, cannot drown even. Um, but that's okay. Um, in the meanwhile, I started pulling the lever since we'll, we need to start draining this room. Um, let's uh, let's start doing that. I already pulled the top one. Uh, that should be this one again. Is there a? Yeah, there is a floodgate here now, so no new water should be able to get in. 
now we should be able to flush the old water um, by opening this one uh, AP and that will probably not go fast enough so I'll probably be able to be opening this one as well to drain the water even faster oh, actually this water drain might actually uh, bring all the cages towards the hole but uh, let's see what happens with that um, so please pull the levers guys Mm. Was there a fish in there? <laughs> yeah, there was. It's a cave fish. Well, what are you doing in there in my animal stockpile? Um, no, that's animal spawning for you. <laughs> it's a cave fish spawning in the in the animal room. Nice for him. Uh, is this one open yet? No. Uh, there comes a kid or there comes a doctor. Yeah. That opens that floodgate, and now the water can start draining down here, down the caves. And uh, yeah, if there's any kittens left, yeah, they can start drowning now as well. <laughs> These couple of cats, uh, kittens, we, which I've shown down here, uh, yeah, I'm throwing water on them as well now. That's uh, the poor guys. Um, anyway, that's fine. Uh, anyway, but this, this won't drain fast enough, and this. Possibly is fine anyway at the moment. I could probably set up a way to do this all to make this drain way, way faster. But well, this is the idea I had for now anyway. Um, I think, yeah, the cages are gone. The cages are moving towards the hole, and that means the kangaroo is probably down here as well. <laughs> uh, let me check. There's just like, like here should be the kangaroo corpse or whatever. You see any case lying around? No. So where the cages go? Oh, I just saw him. One went in, I think. Maybe they were still dropping. Um, this level. Uh, and here these tiles. No. No sign of caves or kangaroos or Rhesus macaque or kangaroo corpses. Ah. Uh, well, I guess we'll see when the it's done flooding. Maybe, maybe it is in there. No. Nah, no idea. <laughs> anyway, uh, this will need to drain. Oh, it will also help if I pull this level lever, so that. This one closes and whatever what is in here will just stay in there and then this room can just drain. Um, let's see. Rufus Dwarf's full lever. Yeah, floodgate shows up. And we now have to wait. Um, still people getting interrupted by elves by the looks of things though. Let's take a look at that. Is that left one still not dead yet? I guess it's an old message. Okay, um, so yeah, elven sieges. This uh, this will be fun. <laughs> we'll have enough machines to take care of the elves. And oh, here's a little stockpile of elves. Let's look at them all. Elf cages. Um, uh, no, look at the K. And now you can see the name as well. This is what I was talking about earlier in the episode with the goblins. Now you can check the name of the goblin or the elf in this case, and uh, and kill them. And oh, there's a horse in there, and a spearman, and all these elf spearmen. They're all gonna die later, but first <laughs> needs need to be done draining. Um, okay, well, I hope this will go faster than I expect it to be. Uh, I'll pause the video, and uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see some drowning dr drowning elves soon enough. See you guys in a second. Okay, from the looks of things, uh, most of the water is gone. It still looks like it's full of water because it's on the stockpile, but if I K on this, it's uh, 272727. I have, I can't even find any trees anymore, so uh, trees are where it's scared. Tree of waters are where it dwarfs get scared, so when, when the trees are gone, you're, you're great to go, even. Um, so let's open some more floodgates. Not this one, this will flood it again. Uh, this one can be opened, this one can be, no, this one can stay open, this one can be closed, this one can be opened. 
and uh, that will happen. Also, I made a like a uh, new little stockpile for all the elves since I had so much placed it here for now, and it looks like it got a good hole, got enough hole. The should be placed downwards later. Uh, yeah, placed down here later. Um, floodgates are open. Okay, let's lo the door. Uh, so it. Things should be open again, and now this should be an animal stockpile again. It should be fine, I think. Now, if we go back to this room and forbid everything, you know what? I'll just remove the stockpile since I will make a noble room out of this in the future anyway. Now, all the elves and animals should be brought towards the lowest level to that drowning room. And, uh, yeah, it looks like that is happening. And I will actually be able to give you a demonstration of uh, disarming the guys. Also, well, here is a kangaroo. A kangaroo cage. With a kangaroo doe. He's <laughs> still in here, the kangaroo. Yeah. Kangaroo survived the drowning. And, oh, down here as well. I guess they never have men moved down. They're just now coming for out from under the water. So the cages always stayed up here, I guess. Um, well, that's okay. <laughs> now we're going to uh, give them some new friends anyway, and try and drown them as well. Goddamn bastards! And we'll try. Let's try disarming them at, at least. Oh, already see you're seeing some tiles move back to the little normal stockpile look instead of this watered over look. Um, first of all, let's try that um, disarming. Uh, these two. L should be fine for that. Uh, so I'm going to do a DBD. Uh, dump these two tiles. Go back with K. Uh, and dump, undump the cages. Everything else should still be dumped. And we should see some dwarves going from these elves to the, so the um, garbage dump over there and back and forth. And see if that actually happens. Since this, this is a spearman that that elf should actually have a spear and have multiple weapons. Um, let's see, and where was the garbage dump again? Here. Uh, you know what, let's make it a little bit bigger as well. That's also more garbage dump now. Um, let's see if they actually start disarming. Um, things are happening. You know what? Let's give me more orders. I'll dump everything uh, in this row and undump it. Okay, and well, there's a dwarf on here, but the dwarf won't be dumped. The elf cage will be, though. Elf cage, horse cage. And also, I'm pretty sure these elves should not be able to breathe underwater, even if they're in a cage. So, drowning dash should be able to work. Not sure. Um, now I'd like to see like a dwarf or two actually disarming the elves. There's this one doing something, but what is he doing? Um, so Marks the Ranger is unconscious. So oh, because he hit his head or something. No idea. Um, so any disarming jobs coming around? Hmm. Taking way longer than expected. Dwarves, yeah, they are able to get into the room. Hmm. Oh, I went to the wiki and I think I understand the problem. Thing is that the whatever's in the tiles is not claimed yet as well. Uh, let's try if we can actually take a look at that. If no, can't look. Um. I can't go into the, the elf details when it's in a cage like this. Anyway, uh, what I should be able to do is first reclaim everything in this room. First reclaim. First reclaim everything that the elves have. If the elves have something, it will be claimed now. Now we will dump everything. Everything is ours. It, will, it should be able to get dumped. And 
then it's just a question of undumping the cages again. Well, you got a idea by now. Um, make sure all the purple these are gone. Even on the kangaroos, now they should be disarmed. Um, here come the doors. Yeah, that what is it? Is it? I, um, I, w I was just dumping the items, but they weren't claimed yet, so that's why they weren't dumped. Okay, anyway, now we're having lots of fun disarming elves, taking all their weapons, and I'll reforge them or whatever. Let's see what, what sort of hole we're getting from here. It looks like some rope reed fiber stuff, a pine shield, a candlelit spear. We're disarming them. <laughs> And then we're gonna drown them. <laughs> ah, fun times with the elves. And this, this is just the first wave of elves. This is, uh, since there's an elf war apparently in this place, uh, this is probably uh, yeah just the first ambush squad. And uh, this means nothing. We'll get whole whole sieges later, and we'll, we won't probably won't be able to uh, disarm all of them or kill all of them. And, you have things go as well as it went this time, but uh was a bit over prepared with all my little, yeah always here my, uh, extra paths and funneling funneling all the enemies into those traps that's it's always a f uh, good way um yeah how is the charm going here thirty six minutes in um what's happening someone's giving birth to a boy. Oh, God and children all the time, and all the rest of the water seems to be yeah drying up in this room. Okay, you know what? I'll pause the game one more time. So hopefully they'll be done with disarming all the elves then, and yeah, when that is done, we'll start flooding them again and see if we can take care of them. Keep take care of them that easy. Um, okay, see you guys in a second. Okay, uh, about a minute after I stopped recording, it seems done over there. Oh, and I get a new migrant wave. Um, anyway, let's see what sort of hole we got. Uh, this style should have everything. There's uh, spears and shields and rope reader stuff. Rope reader fiber shoes, clothes, more spears and shields and spears and meal shirts, a mahogany meal shirt, whatever. Um, all kinds of little nice clothes and yeah all wooden stuff since there's these are elves god damn elves well <laughs> i have a reason to kill them all um anyway those tiles are uh, all uh, everything they had are now on these two tiles uh, let's claim that back again dbc to reclaim things and that should bring all all their loot to my my things um my Stockpiles, even? Yeah. Um, okay, let's take another look at the elves. Well, there's nothing in here for the rest. Um, there's no one else in there for the rest. We can start flooding again. Nice. Um, okay, close the flooding doors. There's this lever and. Uh, yeah, this lever as well. And hopefully, uh, this will actually kill them. Um, that's everything closed. Yeah. Uh, well, this won't really be necessary, but yeah, you know, let's let's keep it open. Um, okay, let's yeah open the top ones again. Uh, this one, so the room here starts flooding again, and this one, so there will be actually be water going towards the room, and uh, let's see if the elves drown. And that might take a while again. Hope they do, <laughs> well, because if they're dead, then we can use their bodies and add the cages again, and make some nice elf skull uh, totems or something, and or make weapons out of those, make armor out of those elf skull armor. That that would be nice. <laughs> um. Hey, wait a minute. Um. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, things are flowing. That's fine. There's just people going towards the stockpile over here, cleaning it out. And the flooding is also starting again. Okay, um, pausing the game one more time and hopefully we can get some drowning dwarves in cages underground. Fun time. 
Or, never mind. I didn't read the wiki as good as I did. I thought I did, or I remembered wrong. Boy, just that. A cage will protect the creature inside it from drowning. So this will not work. If I had built the cages instead of just you yeah, have uh, have them standing there on the tiles, then they might have drowned. Um, one second. Or I should have read the wiki better before I started this whole drowning trap. Fuck. Um, so I'm just reading that a cage will protect a creature inside it from drowning. Uh, what might work if you build the cage, if you place it like I did down there and then run through magma through it, that doesn't melt the cage, it will kill the enemy. But apparently you can't drown elves or animal, animals like this, uh, the cage will keep them safe. A wooden cage will keep these, draw, these elves from drowning. Sigh. <laughs> it's a, well, that's a big fuck up of my case. Should have really... yeah read more about that and you've probably been screaming about that the last couple of episodes fun times um so yeah i guess the will real waves which just throw them all down the caves here and this will be just a normal place to keep my um my my prisoners of war uh let's close all this these things again and uh, let's end the episode as well then since we're 40 minutes in anyway um Anyway, you got an idea of what to do with, with elves. It's uh, It can be very funny. At least I teach you disarm. At least I got that working. <laughs> um, okay, so... Um, oh, some children also going mad. Why are you going mad? Where are you going mad? Here. I uh, probably had some, some other mood. Uh, my justice squad will probably handle that. Or they won't whatever <laughs> um, okay yeah this um, has been long enough so uh, instead of this don't not do this not try to drown the elves even if they're in a wooden cage don't try to drown any enemies they will not die a cage will a cage is uh, some sort of scuba apparatus <laughs> think about that um, and just better off to throw them in a magma or whatever okay um, video going on long enough and uh, I'll see you guys later yeah see you nice the next time and next time we'll, we'll take care of these elves they'll die oh they will die later